Tacoma Mida Curtain Call, a program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul James Brown. The latest exhibit at the Schaefer International Gallery is called O Kalani. It features sculptor Sean K.L. Brown from the island of Hawaii and painter-poet Ima Kalani Kalahele from Nu'uanu. They are contemporary Kanaka artists. Okalani translates as from the heavens. It also, we are told in the opening announcement as one enters the gallery, acknowledges the names of both artists. The State Foundation on Cultural and the Arts Art and Public Places Acquisition Awards Selection Committee was most impressed with this exhibit, recommending two paintings by Mr. Kalahele and three sculptures by Mr. Brown, totaling $26,850. Mr. Kalahele is a poet, an activist for Hawaiian issues, as well as a painter who works in acrylics. This work, which will be in the State Foundation's collection, is called Divided. The following poem accompanies it. Some have, some don't, divided. Some will, some won't, divided. Entitlements of the red, white, and blue, Hawaiian, divided. This is a powerful work. Figures are represented in the slashes. Towards the top are trios and duos in clear, sharp silhouette against the red. Then, as one moves down the painting, they become less clear until they disappear entirely at the point. The blue Mr. Kalahele refers to is almost black. It is so dark. Here is the other work they recommended called Dancing. It would not have been my choice. Here is the poem Mr. Kalahele wrote for it. It was a moonless night looking to the sky. I saw them dancing, dancing in the clouds under the stars. It was a moonless night and I saw them dancing, dancing for me. It has a ghostly quality to it. There are several other stronger pieces by Mr. Kalahele. This is his strongest work, in my opinion. It is called Papa La Ua O Vakea. In the uplands of Kalihi, high up the Ko'olau, Papa and Vakea hold high their apu. The apu is the ceremonial cup for drinking kava. The forms he has created perfectly represent uplifting. The central curve focuses attention. But the orb in the apu pulls one's eye. It feels celebratory. These forms stick in my mind's eye. This painting belongs in the State Foundation collection. Another powerful work, it is a diptych, acrylic, on canvas, Vakea Kea, 2017. Haumea sits in waiting for Vakea, anticipating what is coming, Vakea Kea. This is an interesting work, according to the explanation below the painting, Wakea is the mystical cosmological male Hawaiian ancestor and partner of Haumea, one of the many names of the earth mother god of fertility and birth, Papa. Keakea is a child or seed, which could be translated as sperm. Can you see it? This is Kui i Ka Mauna. A call from the mountain was heard. And the people came. They found the gods were still there. This is the latest painting in the exhibit by, by Mr. Kalahele. He has been active in the movement to stop the telescope on Mauna Kea. Here we see another image that is populated when one looks into the work. One can see the images of people rising up to protect the mountain. The State Foundation on Culture and the Arts in Public Places Acquisition Awards Selection Committee recommended the purchase of three of Mr. Brown's works. Macau, Fishhook for Purchase. It is an Italian Bianco marble that feels soft because of the curves and the circle in the middle. It will be a fine addition to the state's art collection and reminds me of Tim Garcia's work. This cast bronze with mahogany base is a depiction of Mauna Kea entitled Kalani of the Heavens it will also be joining the State Foundation's Distinguished Collection. It is number one of an edition of seven. The artist tells us his memory of the mountain is, quote, ever tall, ever wide, ever majestic, unquote. The final purchase so far in this show is this magnificent cast bronze, Kane i Ka Malama Malama. It is only 22 inches tall, but it feels monumental. It is the artist's impression of the supreme creator god Kane creating light. Perhaps they will take this one of an edition of four as a maquette for a larger-than-life sculpture for the next state office building.
This cast bronze on Aphromosia wood is a depiction of the demigod Picoi. He is seen here gazing into the water to see his target, two evil birds. According to the Hawaiian mythology, by successfully accomplishing this feat, he wins the hand of the daughter of the high chief, Keabe Nui. The artist cast this work in 2013. This cast bronze on granite is called Aumakua, Guardian God, 2019. It is an impression of the shark, or mano, which is an important part of Hawaiian history. The smoothness and upturned curves gives it motion. One can almost see it moving through the water, and the fin almost looks like a wave. Mr. Brown also does busts. Here are three of them. This one is of Mary Kavena Pukui. Born in 1895, she passed at 91 years old. She was the author of a Hawaiian dictionary, a Hawaiian language translator, cultural historian, and hula scholar. This is a bronze on koa wood bust of Joseph Kaholi Navahi, who was the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Queen Liliokalani until the overthrow in 1893 when he was jailed for treason and died in 1896. He was a journalist, attorney, legislator, and a painter. This is Samuel Manakalani Kamakau. You can feel the power of this man who founded the Royal Hawaiian Historical Society and served in the legislature of the Hawaiian Kingdom for 25 years until his death in 1876. He is also known for his writing in Hawaii newspapers. When I saw this at first, I thought it was wood. But this 2019 depiction of Anui Nui, the rainbow, is cast bronze on granite. Mr. Brown has these tripartite curved shapes in several of his sculptures. It looks like a human form holding up the rainbow. In this view, it is even more pronounced. This is Puna Ohi-san, grandparent, 2018. There is that three-section curved humanoid sculpture again, this time in Japanese Takain granite. Hui Union, 2019, is cast bronze on granite, and there is the tripartite image. This time we are told it is a stylized hand depicting coming together in unity. I see one side of it as a stylized hand, but I cannot help to see a human form in this tripartite part next to the hand. Maui pushing up the sky, a cast bronze and a Formosia wood piece, shows the demigod Maui pushing the sky up to create light. This was said to have occurred in Maui's home, Hana. The final work I want to talk about is ironically the first thing one will see as one comes into the show. As one enters the gallery, Water of Kane, 2013, a cast bronze on Aphromosia wood stand, greets the viewer. It shows the demigod Aukale, who has the power of light. Here he is shown returning from gathering the waters of Kane to bring his brothers and a nephew back to life. Mr. Brown is a sculptor who is able to work in many different media and to present both abstract and representational work simultaneously and with excellence, a rare feat indeed. Interestingly, an exhibit has to apply for an Acquisition Awards Selection Committee to come and visit their show. When I looked on the SFCA website of recent and upcoming exhibits, this one was not there. I asked gallery director Nida Bangerter how it was that the Acquisition Awards Selection Committee came and purchased five works without an application being submitted. I am awaiting her reply. Okalani at the Schaefer International Gallery is open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. until June 18th. The gallery is also open until 7.30 p.m. for select Castle Theater and Yokouchi Pavilion shows. On May 7th, Families are invited to view the exhibit together, explore activities in storytelling and legends, and make a piece of art to take home. This is a free community event. Gallery visitors are no longer required to show proof of vaccination and photo ID. Masks are optional. Admission is free. Donations gratefully accepted. Well, that's Curtain Call for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul James Brown. Ahui ho! Thank you.